What is up guys and welcome to another Red Dead Online money making video. Today we are sat right in the middle of Cumberland Falls, right in the middle of this river and if you didn't know this river goes all the way down to the Dakota River where we've had quite a few fishing methods already and it's very close to Valentine which makes this method very good but right now we are sitting right here. There is actually a gang hideout around here so make sure you go and clear that out before you come to this location because if not it will trigger it and then you'll be halfway through fishing and then all of a sudden you'll start being shot at by a gang ambush or this gang hideout sorry but once you've done that what you want to do is come down to this location right here right in the middle of this river pull out your fishing rod as you can see just by myself sitting here we have managed to go and bring in quite a few different types of fish the reason i'm showing you this method as you can see there isn't as many fish as what i you would get in a another method of one of mine uh, but there is sockeye salmon in this location which goes for two dollars and fifty cents and as we're standing here more and more fish are starting to spawn in you will not get a full satchel of sockeye salmon but sockeye salmon goes for two dollars and fifty cents which means you know if you're getting four of those that's ten dollars that's ten easy dollars and because it does not take too long to go and reel in a sockeye salmon it's actually pretty decent and you should be able to go and get four or five sockeye salmon. The other fish in this area, you'll get stuff like pickerel, you'll get rock bass, uh, and I believe a bluegill. Normally, well as rock bass and pickerel, you get bluegills as well. So uh, you get all of that as well. And there we go. We managed to go and get ourselves a fish within, what was that, like seven, eight seconds, somewhere like that. So you can go and get fish quite often in this area. And that is is that a rock bass i think that might be a rock bass or a blue gill which either way it is a dollar or 75 cents blue gills though go for 75 cents so that's not too bad considering it didn't take us too long and as you can see we're getting a uh, quite a few fish round here and i believe that might also be a perch just there just at the top of uh, of my fishing rod there that might actually be a perch but i think the fish just there see if we can get it is actually pretty close to me um, the one going to the top right of the screen, I believe, is a sockeye salmon. And I really want to try and get myself that because that will be going for $2.50. And the, a, a, a bit of a problem with where it's located right now is uh, because it's so close to me, that was a terrible throw. Uh, because it's so close to me and the the, the edge of this river here, it's, uh, it's kind of awkward trying to throw it. So you might have to maneuver yourself around this rock to try and get and I think that fish was actually going for my uh, my spinner there so uh, we probably could have got that I probably uh, pulled that in a bit too quick um, but I'm gonna try and get myself a sockeye salmon to see if we can uh, I could just show you that you get them at this spot and I think this fish might be coming in I can't really reel it no I can't I can't get that one that one's a bit awkward so this right side is a bit awkward trying to get these fish because you cannot, like, you physically cannot throw it that way. So it might be best to go on this rock and then throw it out that way. But like I said, just keep on maneuvering yourself. Try to find a location which is good to try and get the different groups of fish. Fish spawn all the way around this rock right in the middle here. It's just trying to find a good place to go and get. And there, look at look how many sockeye salmons have spawned in. You can tell because they have that sort of red, reddish glow to them. Um, there's quite a few there. There is already like two or three there. There's one just to the right of the screen. Unfortunately though, like I said, it's a bit awkward for me to try and get it. So I've moved over to this rock and hopefully I can chuck my fishing rod. It's not, I'm hoping that it's not too tall, too high at the minute for me to not throw my fishing rod. But this is going to probably be a better location to go and get these types of fish. So I can carry on to like slowly reel it in once I get to the group. And hopefully we should be able to go and get one of these fish and we get one. There we go. That took what, maybe like another seven, eight seconds. We'll, we'll just say 10. We'll, we'll be generous and say that it took 10 seconds, which is still pretty decent. And to rule that in, it is another blue gill, but you can see that there are a lot of sockeye salmon. I probably should actually uh, go and change my lure to try and get these sockeye salmon. Um, but uh, we're going to be done with that because you can see the sockeye salmon. I don't want to waste too much time trying to do a bit of fishing. As always with fishing methods or fishing locations like this, once you do get quite a few fish spawning, and as we've been fishing, you can see all the bubbles on the water that there are starting to be like three separate groups here where you can chuck yourself a stick of dynamite. You have one which is just over there. There's quite a few fish over there. You've got this whole sort of place around here to go and chuck a stick of dynamite and also it's a bit over there as well so there's three different locations where if you're wanting to go and make xp 
all you have to do is go and chuck yourself a stick of dynamite in and you will eventually progress your awards of killing two animals with a single stick of dynamite. I think it's in hunting uh, and eventually you'll go and rank that up. I've completed it. I've got all of them done so I cannot do that anymore. I cannot get XP by doing that anymore. Um, so I'm going to have to go and find a better way. But if you haven't done that yet, definitely do it because you can get yourself a good amount of XP. But anyway guys, just to show you, this... Uh, this location is just beside Cumberland Falls, there is a gang hideout, occasionally comes around, it was the first time ever I've actually had to go and deal with this gang hideout, I was shocked to see it, a gang hideout that I've never done before, but there is one just around here and it goes slightly up the road there, uh, clear that out as soon as you've done that, come to the middle of here or just at the bottom of the waterfall and you'll find yourself three different locations in which you can go and get fish, one there, one there and then one just that side as well so that is where the fish will spawn in and the main thing is that you get sockeye salmon as soon as you've done that head all the way over to valentine and sell it at the butchers but anyway guys that is the method that i'm using on red dead online i hope you guys did enjoy if you did enjoy don't forget to leave a like and subscribe but for now i'm going so see ya